start with contracting sprites. Chapter 96, The Primordial Area of the Chinbei Mountains Ordinary people could only buy sprites from sprite care houses or free-ranging centers. They were all common sprites. Among them, the ones with higher cultivation potential were Little Charcoal Tortoise and Long-Armed Gibbon. Little Charcoal Tortoise fulfilled the first two requirements of Su Hao's contract. It could resist and ride. However, its speed was too slow, and its final form couldn't display its battle power in a narrow place. The Little Stone Elephant's evolved form, the Armored Elephant, could ride, resist, and its speed wasn't slow. However, its final evolved form, the Elephant General, couldn't ride anymore. How about Salted Fish King? Salted Fish King was only at the first stage of evolution. After it evolved, it would turn into a giant leviathan. Not only could it resist and ride, it could also fly. It was just that the evolution difficulty was too high. It was impossible to complete evolution before the college entrance examination. He gave up both options. Su Hao searched for ways to purchase rare and high-quality sprites on the forum. After you enter a university normally, you can buy some high-quality sprites with the help of the school's channels and resources. Competitions within university schools, or between schools reward pretty good sprites. Especially the high school league. He still remembered that the previous high school league had rewarded each person from the champion team with a pure real turkey. It was the final evolved form of Fiery Bird, also known as the Phoenix's relative and it was extremely strong. If you really can't find one that you're satisfied with, you'll have to wait until college before contracting a third sprite. Su Hao came from an ordinary family background and didn't have much connections. Of course, if he went to Master Chen Ping, it probably wouldn't be difficult for him to get a rare sprite. Master Chen Ping was still in his contact list. They just weren't familiar with each other. He was used to being on his own. At most, he would seek help occasionally. He browsed through and indeed found some news about sprites for sale. Selling a moss turtle bred by the 10,000 vine turtle. Certified by the union. Legitimate background. Please send me a private message if interested. The so-called legitimate background referred to sprites that hadn't been contracted or stolen. Sprites for private sales and transactions needed certification from the local association of sprite trainers to avoid any problems. Su Hao had seen the news before. A rich businessman bought a rare sprite dream demon for his 16-year-old son from the black market. Yet his son couldn't contract it no matter what. In the end, he discovered that the dream demon had once been contracted. After the contract, the sprite was snatched by hunters, and the contractor was killed. It was then circulated to the black market and bought by rich merchants. As a high school student with a bright future, Su Hao had absolutely no intention of buying one at the black market. But there were too few sprite trainers selling sprites on the forum. Perhaps he didn't find the right route. After all, real rare sprites have long been pre-ordered and haven't been sold to the market at all. Most of the elite sprite trainers who come from grassroots backgrounds look for sprite contracts themselves in the New World. The sprites of the New World did not come from the same source as Planet Aquamarine. It was very difficult to contract those sprites due to the repelling of human breath, but it wasn't entirely impossible. There was no need to think about the adulthood stage. As long as the methods were good, there was a possibility of kidnapping even the newborn sprite. But. I still don't have the ability to move freely in the new world. Su Hao didn't really want to either. Life was more important. It's better to go to the new world after I have two to three or four elites. It's safer. He thought about it and typed in the search wild sprites in Dragon Nation again. The search results on the Union's intranet were reliable, real, and had no advertisements. Su Hao looked at them one by one. He couldn't conceal his disappointment. If one's luck is good in the wilderness, one can bump into wild sprites, but they are pretty much common sprites in the sprite care house. The difficulty of finding a rare high-end sprite in the wild is no less than getting the first prize in the lottery. Su Hao shook his head. 
unless it's in the primordial forest. Now that he had come into contact with the industry, he understood it even more. He knew that not only were wild sprites captured from the New World and released into the primordial area, there were also planet aquamarine sprites there. Those were mostly sprites that were harder to contract. For example, the former Little Fire Crow. If I didn't successfully contract Little Fire Crow back then, it would most likely be sent to a certain primitive area. So, it would be best if I can enter a certain primordial area to look for a suitable sprite contract. Even the sprite care house had to spend money to buy sprites. Of course, not just anyone could enter the primordial area. The joint examination merely opened to them an area that had just introduced new world sprites. Let me see. The primordial areas of the green-blue forest are only open to the public from June to September every year. There are also limited slots. The primordial area of Flaming Mountain requires a recommendation to enter. Zimu Town's primordial area is too ordinary. Those who have been there all left negative reviews, so I'll just give it up. The primordial area of Chinbei Mountain is one of the top three primordial districts in the Dragon Nation, but I can't go there either, wait a minute, the primordial area is hiring sprite cultivators to do a local sprite ecology survey. They've also invited a well-known high-level sprite cultivator. Su so Hao touched his chin. He saw the rewards as well as the benefit of getting to contract sprites. He decisively submitted his resume. He took another look. Whoa, there were quite a lot of sprite cultivators who wanted to go as well. Their greed was different from his. He was just craving for the sprites in the primordial area. On the other hand, they were craving for the advanced sprite cultivator who was leading the team. They were craving for his knowledge and nobility. There were too many competitors. Su so Hao had a slight headache. It seems like my resume isn't that outstanding either. He just emerged number one in the Sprite Cultivator Assessment Area. He merely discovered the evolution pathway of Reverie Butterfly. He only wrote a few theses for important journals. In order to ensure a spot, while waiting for a reply, Su so Hao conveniently applied for the mid-level Sprite Cultivator Assessment. The difference between intermediate and elementary was experience. The intermediate level examination was simpler than the elementary level examination. There was no need to take part in the comprehensive test. He only needed to submit the cultivation plan he had completed, his work experience, etc., to the examiners for review. After the verification was passed, he had an online question and answer session with three mid and high level sprite cultivator examiners. The requirement for the verification was mainly the quantity and quality of the proposed plan. The quantity. Su so Hao had received orders during the winter holidays, but it was not much. It was barely enough. The main factor was quality. All of them were excellent. In reality, sprite cultivators weren't omnipotent. All of them had their own specialties in cultivating sprites or types of sprites. A certain sprite cultivator was good at cultivating turtle-type sprites. Thus, the cultivation plan he designed for a wood mantis would somewhat be worse. Su so Hao was especially comprehensive. He was extremely excellent, making the examiners suspect for a moment that it was a bot plan. In the final online question and answer session, the examiners had tricky questions, but Su so Hao answered them easily. After more than a month of self-study, he would be able to enroll in the entry-level Sprite Cultivator Assessment. Now that he had self-learned for nearly half a year and his interface had also been upgraded, wasn't it reasonable and logical that he could get into the mid-level Sprite Cultivator Assessment? He was a genius. Okay, it's done. In a few days, I'll be an honorable mid-level Sprite Cultivator. Should I submit my resume again? As he was thinking, he realized that there was already a reply in his inbox. A week later. Su so Hao ditched the school curriculum again. He took the high-speed rail to the primitive area of Chinbei Mountain. Choice question. Question, Su so Hao finally contracted a underscore 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 sprite after going through so much hardship in the primitive area? A. 
Water spirit foal water unicorn water kylan, it's not a deity beast, it's at most a deity. B. Rolling beast electric bear thunder roaring. C. Chapter 97, Times Have Changed. The train sped across the highway. One could see the clear blue sky when looking out. Green hills, clear water, white clouds, even his mood became cheerful, no way. Su Hao moved his stiff butt and yawned. It would take too long for the high-speed rail to travel from an city to Changlin province. He also needed to transfer trains later. He had wanted to take a plane. But... M sprites generally weren't allowed to board the plane. Su Hao also understood this regulation. After all, entry-level sprites were too destructive. If an accident happened, the plane would be destroyed and people would die. He took a look at the time and prepared jade powder food for Reverie Butterfly and Flaming Cloud Crow. Then, he walked to the dining car to have a rather unsatisfactory lunch. After that, he returned to his seat and sat down before swiping across the screen of his cell phone. Whoosh! There was no signal. If I had known, I should have downloaded a few movies first. Su so Hao thought hard about ways to pass the time. Reverie Butterfly hugged the tablet computer that it had finally gotten its hands on and felt equally helpless. What's the use of this lousy tablet without Wi-Fi, gurgle? Only Flaming Cloud Crow that was good at daydreaming, oh no, thinking, didn't find it boring. He stood on the seat and stared at the sky outside the window. One look and an hour passed. Su so Hao flipped through his suitcase. There was a laptop, some clothes for change and daily necessities. He searched and suddenly paused. He actually found a deck of poker cards. Who knew when he stuffed it into a suitcase? He looked. He, Reverie Butterfly, Flaming Cloud Crow. It was just nice. This was heaven's will. Why don't we play fight the landlord? It's easy to learn. As long as you do it this way and that, you'll win. Half an hour later. Gurgle. Reverie Butterfly got the trump. Su Hao's face turned red. Impossible. It doesn't make sense. It's not Sprite. After playing more than ten rounds of Fight the Landlord, apart from the first three rounds, which he won while the two Sprites were unfamiliar with the rules, he lost all the rounds after that. Well, that wasn't very accurate. He lost when he was a local lord, and when he was a farmer, he won. He was led by Reverie Butterfly. He felt even more depressed. I suspect that you cheated, but I have no evidence. Gurgle, equals. Gurgle, gurgle. Continue? No, no, no. We should strike a balance between work and rest. After playing cards for such a long time, it's time to learn something. Although Su Hao didn't bring any learning materials with him. Did he really need it? He wrote down the training method of the unique skill Psychic Shield right away. After the battle with Old Chen, Su Hao was envious of the skill, Psychic Shield. The thick shield could be repaired continuously, bringing him sufficient security. Theoretically. With the outstanding spiritual power of Reverie Butterfly, learning Psychic Shield was not difficult. There was a saying that illusionary thoughts were closely related. It was just that the power of the psychic shield cast by illusion-type sprites was a little weaker. However, Reverie Butterfly didn't have any illusion attributes now, so it was the same. The little rascal was confused. You were the one who wanted to play cards, and you were the one who didn't want to play now. How can you do this? Schemes, they re all schemes. Gurgle. It, Reverie Butterfly, was going to rise up today and overthrow Su Hao's rule, gurgle. Sprites will never be slaves. The little rascal looked at the jade powder in Su Hao's hand and was silent for two seconds. Maybe next time. Suddenly. Chaos came from the front. Su Hao, who was worrying about being unable to shake off Reverie Butterfly who was addicted to playing cards, saw that there seemed to be a conflict. He immediately got up and walked towards the source. Then, 
he saw a big man pushing a middle-aged woman so hard that she stumbled. She didn't fall only because someone held her from behind. Su Hao frowned. He smelled strong alcohol. He looked over. The big man grunted and sat down. He was lying on his side, lifting one foot to hang on the seat beside him. He alone occupied two seats. Apart from the middle-aged woman, there was also a young man who was angry but didn't dare to say anything. Neither seat belonged to the big man. A frowning train attendant was dissuading them. The big man tapped his nose. Get lost. Did you write your name on the seat? I'm just going to do this, what can you do to me? If I sit here, this seat is mine. Why should I allow you to check my bus ticket? The expressions of the surrounding passengers were very ugly. Some wanted to pull the big man up, but after comparing their own figures and the big man's strong arms, they held themselves back. Su Hao looked at his fist and clenched it hard. He felt that it was filled with power, enough to kill a calf. He shouldn't be that weak compared to the big man. He took a step forward and paused again. Sprite trainers would never stand beside a dangerous wall. He said to Reverie Butterfly, which had flown to his head at some point, I'll leave it to you. Gurgle. At this point, the big man was very impatient. He stood up again, his words filled with vulgarities as he waved his thick arms around wildly. The train attendant hurriedly retreated, but she didn't have time to see the swinging arm aimed at her. When a big beautiful butterfly appeared in front of her. Meeting eyes with the big man. The big man froze. He hung his arm in midair, and couldn't move his body at all. His eyes were filled with fear. Su Hao casted a glance at the sleeping owl who seemed to be preparing to attack, and shook his head slightly. Did they know that the number of sprite trainers had increased sharply in recent years? It was no longer possible to be all muscular. Times had changed. Hello, my name is Tang Xian. Can I take a closer look at your reverie butterfly? Please. The girl was wearing a light-colored sweater with a scarf wrapped around her neck. Her long hair was let down, and her hands were pressed together as she looked at him. Su Hao's gaze paused on the girl's pretty face for an instant, then moved to the little bird with grey and green feathers on her shoulder. Sleeping Owl The evolved form of the silk cotton owl. It was also one of the very few wood element sprites that had a slight affinity with the illusion element. It was quite difficult to learn unique skills such as sound of slumber and slumbering song. Hearing the cute girl's request, of course, Su Hao asked for Reverie Butterfly's opinion first. Gurgle, gurgle. The little rascal flapped its wings magnanimously and started chatting with the slumbering owl. Thank you so much. The girl, Tang Xian, looked at Reverie Butterfly as she took out a notepad and a pen to write and draw. From time to time, she would praise it with words such as wow, oh, so impressive. She asked, but also seemed to be talking to herself. Hey, have you read the evolutionary thesis on Reverie Butterfly? The author of the paper was actually able to deduce the evolution conditions from a little performance. How impressive! I'm really curious about the final form of the Reverie Butterfly. I wonder when it'll evolve. Su so Hao was rendered speechless. Don't you know that the real author is right in front of you? But it was precisely because he was praised when she didn't know his identity. It felt twice as good. Since you're so good at praising, I'll lend Reverie Butterfly to you for a longer time. Gurgle. When the high-speed train reached Dragon City, Su Hao transferred to Changlin Province through Dragon City. By the time he took a taxi to a small town relatively close to his destination, it was already 8 to 9 at night. I still have to walk more than 10 kilometers tomorrow. Su Hao looked at the map and felt a little dizzy. They couldn't get a taxi on the last stretch of the road at all. He could only rely on his legs. This made him even more determined to contract a mount. Times had changed. Even the sprite commandeering illustration book had been updated to V2.0. Chapter 98, Research Team armed team. The next day. 
Su Hao walked for more than 10 kilometers along the mountain road and finally reached his destination Deer Snow Town. This was one of the entrances to the primordial area of the Chinbei Mountains. Compared to the primordial area of the Green Blue Forest, the primordial area of the Chinbei Mountains was much larger, almost covering half of the Chinbei Mountains. Su Hao had checked the information. This primordial area had been established more than 50 years ago. It was one of the earliest primordial areas of Dragon Nation. There was also a large variety of sprites inside. Some of the sprites introduced from the New World had already completed their nativization, and were no longer that repulsive against humans from planet Aquamarine. As a result, the primordial area of the Chinbei Mountains was also the most popular sprite contracting area within the Dragon Nation. There was no shortage of sprite trainers who possessed good luck and ability by contracting rare and high-quality sprites here. It was a bit of an exaggeration to say that they skyrocketed from here after the contracts, but it was a fact that the road ahead was much smoother for them. Of course. The primordial area of the Chinbei Mountains was also an area frequented by sprite hunters. But Su Hao wasn't afraid at all. Right now, he wasn't alone. There were quite a lot of sprite trainer experts in the research team, and there were even woodsmen patrolling the primordial area at all times. Although the primordial area of the Chinbei Mountains was very vast, under the patrolling of powerful sprites, any unusual movements would be captured easily. Who? Su Hao let out a breath of white air. The cold wind blew over. It was a little cold he had prepared two little clothes. Luckily. Su Hao had flaming cloud crow acting as a hand warmer in his hands. Waves of warmth enveloped him. There wasn't much of a problem. He hugged it a little tighter. Squawk. There were very few residents in Deer Snow Town, and many of them were forest guardians of the primordial area. After he arrived, he was arranged to stay at an inn by the management of the primordial area. In the afternoon, he saw the leader of the research team, the high-level sprite cultivator invited by the primordial area. Meng Hejing, a professor at Black Dragon University. She was a middle-aged woman with short hair, dressed in professional clothing. She brought along five research students, all of whom were mid-level sprite cultivators. He had heard about this from sprite cultivators who arrived earlier. Su so Hao counted. Including Professor Meng and the others, there were only 15 sprite cultivators present. There were even more sprite trainers present. Next to them were ferocious sprites. Ah! Su so Hao. He heard a slightly familiar voice. He turned to look. Wasn't she the girl he met on the train? He was a little surprised, but on second thought, he didn't find it surprising. Based on her performance on the bus, she was probably a sprite cultivator. In the hall, Professor Meng walked over and looked around. She asked. Is everyone here? We're still waiting for a sprite cultivator named Anhe, replied a student. Call and ask him. If he doesn't arrive within half an hour, tell him not to come. Yes, teacher. Professor Meng looked at them again and said, I'll briefly introduce the work assignments now. Our mission is to study the influence between sprites and the ecological environment. Your mission is very simple. In the areas assigned to you, collect detailed data on sprites and their surroundings. Pay special attention to special treasures such as the elemental essences of elixirs and spiritual fruits. These words were meant for sprite cultivators. Su so Hao understood the reason. The impacts of sprites and environments were mutual. The simplest method was to give birth to wood element sprites in areas where plants were more exuberant and spiritual force was thicker. In contrast, places where wood element sprites lived generally had better growth conditions than other areas. Once a large number of sprites started living in a certain area, under the influence of those sprites, more spiritual fruits, elemental essences and other treasures might be born. These resources were usually only found in the New World. The primordial area of the Chinbei Mountains was the testing area of Dragon Nation, in hopes to cultivate more precious resources and naturally produce more rare sprites. 
Their mission as external sprite cultivators was to collect data, research, and analyze. If not, there was no need for sprite cultivators. Professor Meng looked at the sprite trainers. Your mission is to protect the sprite cultivators and collect data. I know that many of you are here to contract sprites, but remember, after completing the mission, there will be plenty of time for you to search for sprite contracts. If anyone leaves the team without permission because of their own affairs. Then, she looked at Su Hao and the other external sprite cultivators. All of you too. Don't go around thinking that there are only entry-level wild sprites in the primordial forest. Half an hour later, after organizing their equipment, the research team left Deer Snow Town and headed towards the snowy mountains. Gradually, they could no longer see the town behind them as sparse bare trees appeared in front of their eyes. Occasionally, they could see the silhouettes of sprites flashing through the snow forest. It's a snow-treading deer. The deer stepped on the snow, leaving no footprints behind as it disappeared instantly. Su Hao stared at the interface and tapped open the icon of the snow-treading deer that was gradually disappearing into the distance. Sprite, snow-treading deer, ice element. Information, growth stage, spiritual force, 63. Introduction, I'm Trace La Sun Snow. As expected of the primordial area of Chinbei Mountains, I saw an ice element sprite the moment I came. In the north, Ice element sprites weren't particularly rare, but they were definitely rarer than wood element and earth element sprites. One would cost at least four to five hundred thousand yuan. It was all money. No wonder the primordial forest was frequently robbed. They were only allowed to contract one sprite, and they had to complete the contract in the primordial area. If they couldn't do it, they could only go back to where they came from. In order to ensure that he could abduct, ahem, contract sprites, Su Hao prepared a lot of materials and jade powder in his backpack. I'm a professional at seducing sprites. After walking for more than ten minutes, Professor Meng stopped and looked at the sprite trainers around her. Summon your sprites. Some larger sprites that were not suitable to be brought around were summoned. The team became much larger at once. The sprites which were summoned and the sprites which had been following them since the start scattered the place and stood guard around. The sprites included Tyrant Bear, Mountain Moving Ape, Ground Moving Wolf, Ten Thousand Vine Turtle, Killer Mantis, Fairy Snail, Tide Calling Spring Sprite, and so on. Su so Hao gave them a glance. They were all elite level sprites. The management of the primordial district was pretty generous. But indeed, a contract slot in the primordial area was very attractive to elite level sprite trainers. Contracting sprites here was much easier than in the new world, and there was basically no danger. At this moment, bang! The ground trembled, and snowflakes exploded. In front of his eyes appeared a white sprite the size of a van, somewhat similar to a seal. The most eye catching part of it was its pair of sharp teeth reflecting the sunlight. Its mouth was slightly opened, spraying out a large amount of cold air. Ice Emperor Tooth The final evolution of the White Seal. And, it was an extraordinary sprite. Once Ice Emperor Tooth appeared, the other elite level sprites around him retreated warily. It was only after they confirmed that they were teammates when they finally breathed a sigh of relief. Before Su Hao had time to observe the Ice Emperor Tooth, he heard. Roar. With a howl, a sprite appeared beside Professor Ming. Its body, which was more than 10 meters long, hung in mid-air. Black ink formed a python-like body. It had two horns on its head and four legs. It had extraordinary power. It was Black Dragon University's signature sprite. The final form evolved from Emoling Black Ink Dragon. They were both extraordinary. Su so Hao wanted to take a breath but halfway through, he felt that it was too cold, so cold that his teeth hurt, so he breathed the cold air out. He wasn't as shocked as Tang Xian and the other sprite cultivators. This isn't the first time I've seen an extraordinary level sprite. I've even seen monarch level ones. The problem was. This was a research team, right? 
why did they need two extraordinary level sprites and a bunch of elite level sprite guards? It was more than enough to fight a partial war. Was the primordial area in Chinbei Mountains that dangerous? Chapter 99, An Ordinary High School Student Ice Emperor Tooth led the way, while black ink dragon's ink-like body hovered in mid-air. There were no wild sprites disturbing them along the way. After walking for a few hours, they arrived at a relatively open area at the foot of the mountain. That master level sprite trainer summoned an elite level wind chasing horse. The Pegasus flew into the sky with a sound. After observing for a while, it landed in front of the sprite trainer and called out twice. Ice Emperor Tooth sprite trainer, the middle aged man with the surname Lu, looked at Professor Meng and nodded slightly. Professor Meng said, Set up the camp and prepare for lunch. The research team had sufficient supplies. A mountain moving ape, was able to carry a huge box that was more than a meter in length, width, and height. The other sprite, 10,000 Vine Turtle, also had several cardboard boxes stacked on top of it. They were tightly bound by vines and wouldn't fall no matter how hard it shook. With the sprites acting as helpers, it was very convenient to head out into the wild. With a command. The sprite trainers following the team opened the boxes skillfully, took out supplies, and set up the camp. They were all experienced people. In comparison, on the sprite cultivator's side, many people were leaning on their knees, looking exhausted. Even Professor Meng's students weren't any better. Su, Su Hao, why don't you look tired? Because I have two sprites. Right, right. Tang Xian who was wearing a knitted hat, had her long hair plastered to her face. After a long while, she finally calmed down and said, I also want to contract two sprites, but I can't afford it, and I don't have that much time. Tang Xian's experience represented the vast majority of elementary level sprite cultivators. They only contracted their sprites after they got their license. After all, humans had limited energy. Most candidates didn't contract sprites when Su Hao took part in the sprite cultivator assessment. They needed to learn a lot of knowledge, so they didn't have time to accompany their sprites for training. Money was also a problem that troubled them. And even if one became an elementary level sprite cultivator and cultivated a sprite to entry level, it would still take one to two years. Su Hao himself wouldn't have been able to spend so much on nurturing sprites if it weren't for the rewards from the research papers, the competition, and the benefits from improving unique skills. Tang Xian had spent a large portion of her income on the cultivation of Sleeping Owl. She was considered a part of the more outstanding batch. Many sprites contracted by elementary level sprite cultivators had yet to break through to entry level. It was just that those people couldn't be seen in the research team. They were all eliminated. The primordial area wouldn't sign contracts with sprite cultivators who didn't contract entry-level sprites, even if they had sufficient professionalism. Firstly, if he couldn't get enough feedback, his physical strength would be limited. Secondly, sprites couldn't solidify passive sprite commandeering protection without qualitative change before entry-level. Sprite trainers without protection were weak. Even if there were elite level guards, the management would not dare to let these people enter the primordial area. However, even with sprites' feedback benefits, physical fitness is still limited without exercise. Su Hao noticed that there was a sprite cultivator in his early 30s. His sprite had already been cultivated to advanced entry level. There might even be other sprites he didn't bring along with him. However, this sprite cultivator was still panting a little. Unlike himself, whose body was merely warmed up. The difference is so big. Neither Professor Meng nor that expert surnamed Lu requested that they, the sprite cultivators, set up the camp. Su Hao was naturally happy to slack off. While pretending that he was also a little tired, he carefully observed the actions of those elite sprite trainers. I am a man who wants to conquer the new world. Setting up the camp and building defense in the wild are compulsory classes. It's a pity that this isn't taught in high school. After all, 
Old Chen and the other form teachers might not have went to the New World as many times as him. The only one who really left the city was Coach Xiang. And that was a few years ago. Su so Hao secretly guessed that Coach Xiang didn't do well in the New World. Later on, when he changed a career path and became a coach, he taught a few master-level sprite trainers and became famous instead. After observing for a while, he came to a conclusion. So difficult. As expected, I'm only suitable for plug flow. Should I look for a sprite that can set up a camp on its own? Lunch was instant noodles. Water came from the water molecules gathered by water elemental sprites in the air. After being heated by fire elemental sprites, a large pot of water was boiled in a moment. Su so Hao tried it. Needless to say, it tasted pretty good. Perhaps it was because he was too hungry. The food for sprites was also very good. High-level jade powder was provided by the primordial area, and some jade powder set meals were even concocted by Professor Ming. Su so Hao got Reverie Butterfly to give him feedback after tasting it. Gurgle, gurgle. Green bamboo jade powder, emerald jade powder, empty wood jade powder. Su so Hao took down notes. It was a common jade powder set meal, after all. It was always good to learn more. It was just that the little rascal still couldn't differentiate all the ingredients inside. After lunch, official work was about to begin. Professor Meng started to split everyone into teams. Apart from the three sprite trainers who stayed behind to guard the camp, the others were divided into six teams. Professor Meng and that sprite trainer surnamed Liu formed a team. The others, led by five students of Professor Meng, headed to different areas to collect data. Su so Hao was assigned to the third team, led by a sprite cultivator student named Luo Cheng. Our working area for the afternoon is near the north slope. With the map in hand, Luo Cheng looked at Su Hao, the other two sprite cultivators, and the five sprite trainers. Introduce yourselves so that I can arrange the tasks. A muscular man frowned, but still said, Zhong Yun Rui. Huo Ligs Yu. Wang XX. A young man with a white winged moth on his left said excitedly. Senior, my name is Tang Ki Wen. I'm a third year student at Golden Armor University. I majored in sprite cultivation and sprite production and plants. I received a second prize in the sprite cultivation competition. I'm preparing for my master's examination right now. My dream is to enroll in Black Dragon University. Luo Cheng nodded lightly. That's right. I hope you can become my junior in the future. Tang Kiwen looked especially excited to be recognized. Tang Xian, who was traveling with them, felt a bit uneasy. I'm Tang Xian, a second-year student at Yunhua Sprite University. My major is Sprite and Environment. Luo Cheng's gaze looked towards Su Hao. What about you? Su Hao. Uh, just a high school student. If it's professional knowledge, I might more or less know a little. And if you're asking me what kind of honor I have? Resume? Uh. Su Hao recalled for a moment. I went to Light of Sprites, won awards for my thesis, and just got my mid-level Sprite Cultivator license. That's probably all I got. In order to make his words sound convincing, he even deliberately took out that brand new document. Luo Cheng. Tang Kiwen was a bit embarrassed. Tang Xian had a, look on her face. My name is Su Hao. I'm an ordinary high school student. In order to showcase my competitiveness and value, I specially took my mid-level Sprite Cultivator license. I didn't expect that I would cause my colleagues discomfort on the first day of work. I don't understand. It must be the world's fault. Chapter 100, Time to Find a Suitable Sprite Crack Su Hao stepped on a dead branch and broke it. He walked on the ground where the snow wasn't thick. A faint halo shrouded his body. He had activated Sprite Commandeering protection on his own initiative to prevent his clothes from being torn by the tree branches. Young man, you have experience. The brawny man named Zhong Yun Rui said with a smile, 
your movements are much smoother than those sprite cultivators, especially that Luo Cheng. He shook his head. Having interacted with many people, he could tell with one look that Luo Cheng had a sense of superiority as a student of Professor Meng. It was true that it was very difficult to enroll in Sprite universities. The difficulty of enrolling in a graduate specialization related to Sprites was even higher. But in the end, he was just a graduate student from the Ivory Tower. Middle-level Sprite Cultivator? That was still a Sprite Cultivator. Even a big boss like Professor Meng has to ask Captain L.U. for his opinion when setting up the camp, and now he actually wants to arrange a defense mission for us. You didn't see the dark look on his face when he heard that you were a mid-level sprite cultivator. It was no wonder that Zhong Yunrui was displeased that an outsider wanted to guide the expert. Su Hao didn't have a good impression of that person either. But it wasn't as bad as hating him. He came here to contract a new sprite, not to cozy up to someone powerful. Moreover, that person wasn't powerful either. He looked back. The four sprite cultivators had already separated, but they weren't too far away. Next to him was big brother Zhong, protecting him. An elite sprite trainer was walking beside Tang Xian and Tang Qiwen too. Only Luo Cheng had two people on his left and right. He seemed to be moving slowly. Favorability minus 20. Su Hao walked through the bare woods, his eyes glancing around from time to time. Old brother Zhong and his two sprites were on alert in the surroundings, chasing away wild sprites. One was an earth wolf close to elite level. The other was elephant general. This was the first time Su Hao had seen the elephant general in real life. It was about two meters tall, with a wider cross section. It swung its long nose. It was wearing a suit of armor made of stone, as though it was carved by a master of craftsmanship. The scales of its armor were arranged neatly, and in its right hand was a grey stone war hammer with spikes at the top. It looked very intimidating. Facing anyone who didn't admit defeat, he would smash his hammer down on them, causing physical damage to their heads. Su Hao had originally wanted to find time to spar with old brother Zhong's elephant general. But after looking at general elephant's data, for the sake of reverie butterfly's small body, he decided not to raise the suggestion. If you categorize the elite level into groups, this elephant general is at least a high elite level. Elite level, extraordinary level, monarch level, and so on. It was unlike entry level which had a fine categorization, but the difference in strength between levels was actually even greater. Su Hao himself was pretty experienced. The sprites of the main characters in the defense against the convoy attack, Coach Xiong and President Luo, belonged to the mid-level elite class. The sprite hunters he encountered in the Valley of Size belonged to the bottom rung. It was the kind of elite, who barely broke through. As for Huang Tianhu's winged tiger, it was undoubtedly at the peak of elite level. As long as it took advantage of the opportunity to evolve into a red flame Kyanki, it would be relatively easy to break through to the extraordinary level. Although sprites are said to have a high limit as long as they are cultivated well, it is, also true that sprites with high potential make breakthroughs much easier. If you let a white-winged moth attempt to break through to the extraordinary level, that would simply be too difficult. This was also the reason why he didn't want his sprites to evolve too early. Brother Zhong, let the elephant general withdraw his aura. Otherwise, it will just scare off the sprites. In the end, the primordial forest couldn't be compared to the new world. Even the strongest sprite that Su Hao had seen up till now was only an intermediate entry-level sprite it had something to do with the fact that they hadn't gone deeper in yet. As the elephant general withdrew its aura, they were harassed by some wild sprites from time to time. Zhong Yunrui had already commanded the elephant general to disperse the sprites within a 10-meter radius. But he didn't expect a bent forest wolf to dash out of the woods and pounce on Su Hao, who looked relatively weak. General Elephant raised its sledgehammer before taking a step forward. An energy ball flew out and hit the forest wolf which was pouncing over. With a boom. Forest wolf was beaten into a dumbstruck wolf. Through the smoke and dust, he saw the elephant general wielding a large hammer as it approached. 
With a howl, it picked up its tail and escaped. Zhong Yunrui truly had a higher opinion of Reverie Butterfly's reaction speed and attack speed. Wow, your sprite's level isn't low, and you have a lot of battle experience, right? You're actually only a high school student? And you even passed the mid-level sprite cultivator assessment. Facing Luo Cheng who was showing off his superiority, Zhong Yunrui didn't care about him at all. But the seemingly low-key Su Hao in front of him, made him too uncomfortable. He thought about the number of years he had taken to become an elite-level sprite trainer. Then, he looked at the beautiful pattern, the perfect cultivation, and the strong battle power of Reverie Butterfly. I have to admit defeat. Gurgle. With a whoosh, Reverie Butterfly landed on Su Hao's head and looked around warily. I'll protect this stupid Su Hao, Gurgle. With Brother Zhong and Reverie Butterfly on guard, Su Hao was relieved. He started to observe the sprites around him. There are forest wolves, dotted mushrooms, dead leaf locusts, snow hounds, and other sprites in this area. Because they are wild sprites, some of them couldn't evolve, but they managed to break through to entry level under the nourishment of rich spiritual energy over the long years. Some are local sprites, and some are new world sprites. The same type of sprite, born locally and in the new world, still had subtle differences. It wasn't difficult for him to differentiate between the two. I really don't understand. Isn't there still the interface? Even the birthplace was written in detail. This area is the habitat of dotted mushrooms, many fungi grow here. That one, is a ginseng? It looks so old. Su so Hao approached. The ginseng moved. Leaves were pressed against its head as long ginseng roots entangled together like a pair of fair and long legs. It suddenly emerged from the ground and sprinted madly, disappearing in a flash. Su so Hao was rendered speechless. Its long legs were pretty good looking, but unfortunately, he saw the head first. It's a ginseng baby, a unique sprite from the primordial area of Chenbei Mountain. Zhong Yunrui sighed. And Ling Zi Tai Sui. Su Hao pointed into the distance. Under the Ling Zi that looked like a big umbrella, there was a translucent little old man clinging tightly to the branches. When he saw Su Hao, Zhong Yun Rui, and the four sprites approaching, he hugged the big umbrella and jumped away. Indeed, there are many wild Ling Zi and Jinseng. Su Hao recorded the data of the sprites and their surroundings. Listening to the occasional intelligence points prompted into his ears, his mood gradually became better. They stayed at the campsite by the foot of the mountain for three days. In three days, he had almost collected all of the surrounding environment and sprites. After that, the research team continued deeper into the primordial area. After two days of intermittent walking, they cleared out an open and flat space in a field of woods and redecorated the camp. As they went deeper, Su Hao saw wild elite sprites. They appeared and disappeared unpredictably. However, due to the imposing aura of the many powerful sprites, they didn't dare to approach the team. During their daytime work, five ordinary teams had been combined into two to ensure that they had more power to deal with wild sprites. At night, it was time for free activities. The elite-level sprite trainers who weren't arranged to keep watch at night greeted the group and left they were going to look for sprite contracts. Su so Hao was envious. As one approached deeper into the place, it was easier for them to find rare and high-end sprites. He didn't dare to leave the camp alone. He found Brother Zhong and Brother Huo, whom he was relatively familiar with these few days. Zhong Yunrui smiled and said, We wanted to look for you too. I know how useful your eyes are. You can discover sprites that others can't, and even differentiate the strong from the weak at once. So we wanted to ask for your help to pick a suitable sprite. The three of them hit it off right away.